Shall we put our hands together to the Lord Jesus Christ who reigns forever and ever. He is worthy for our praises today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, King of glory. We give you praise. We give you praise. Amen. Amen. Welcome viewers, wherever you are. Begin with us and continue with us. Finish with us. And the Lord shall surely bless your life. Let's do as per our custom. Let's lift our Bibles together and make our declaration before we take our seats. Are you ready there? Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Let's go. Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is my Lord to the glory of God the Father. Amen. If you believe it, shout amen. 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 Take your seats, please, in Jesus' name. We thank God for the month of July got on well and it finished. And we thank God for giving us the month of August. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are declaring this month shall be a blessed one in Jesus' name. The reason is we choose to believe the report of the Lord. We choose to believe the report of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's get together in the scriptures. For they are holy and with God's inspirations for instruction, for blessing, for lifting, for correction, for healing, and for giving the right counsel. Numbers, num uh, Numbers chapter uh, 13, Numbers chapter 13, Numbers chapter 13, we are looking from verse 1 to 3, then I will jump to verse 26. And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Send men to spy out the land of Canaan, which I am giving to the children of Israel. From each tribe of their fathers, you shall send a man, everyone a leader among them. Verse 3. So Moses sent them from the wilderness of Paran according to the command of the Lord. All of them men who were heads of the children of Israel. Amen. 26. Now they departed and they came back to Moses and Aaron and all the congregation of children of Israel in the wilderness of Paran at Kadesh. They brought back words to, the, uh, to them and to all the congregation and showed them the fruit of the land. Then they told him and said, We went to the land where you sent us. It truly flows with milk and honey, and this is its fruit. Nevertheless, the people who dwell in the land are strong. The cities are fortified and very large. Moreover, we saw the descendants of Anak there. The Hamelakites dwell in the land of the south. The Hittites, the Jamsites, and the Hamorites dwell in the mountains. And the Can Canaanites dwell by the sea and along the banks of, the, of Jordan. Then Caleb quieted the people before Moses and said, Let us go up at once and take possession, for we are well able to overcome it. But the men who had gone up with him said, We are not able to go up against the people. For they are stronger than we. And they gave the children of Israel a bad report. The land which they had spied out 
saying, The land through which we have gone as spies is a land that divorces its inhabitants. And all the people whom we saw in it are men of great stature. There are three. There we saw the giants. The descendants of Hanak came from the giants. And we were like grasshoppers in our, our horn sight. And so we were in their sight. Chapter 14, verse 1. So all the congregation lifted up their voices and cried, and the people wept that night. And all the children of Israel complained against Moses and Aaron, and the whole congregation said to them, If only we had died in the land of Egypt, or if only we had died in the wilderness. Let me Stop there. I will continue reading. Our message today is entitled, The Report. And this is the word of the month of August. The Report. The Report of the Lord. Where there is the report, there are also reports of men. God's report to us today is in this book. By the revelation of the Holy Spirit, we get inspiration for every day from the book. The book carries report from the Lord. God's report is a good report. God's report is a good report. It carries truth. It carries life. It does not care the background. When God speaks, he says, I have taken care of the rest that you can see. It is already taken care of. Hallelujah. When the Lord says, do it, it means he has taken care of the rest. You can obey him and see the results according to his word. The report of God stands for the kingdom of light. The report of God will always stand for your goodness. It will stand for your life, for your family to benefit therein when we take steps of faith in obedience. We obey by faith. We then find what God has promised. In the other hand, we have Satan's report. Both of these reports, the God's report and the Satan's report, they are carried by people. People are channels. Now, Satan's report, it is underlined by lies. The devil will lie against God's truth concerning your life and my life. Concerning nations, concerning cities, concerning every life, marriage and the families, the devil will give reports of lies in order to counterattack the truth of God and the goodness of God. So we are saying Satan's reports are underlined by lies. They are underlined by lies. And their purpose is to make sure you and I, we do not accomplish the purpose of creation. The purpose of getting saved. The purpose of the enemy is to make sure that you don't enjoy as per the word of God. And then you begin saying, it's like, it's like it does not work. No, 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 no. Those are reports which come to you 
through people, all through media, all through anything, everything that counter talks God's truth. It's of the enemy and it is a bad or evil report. Can somebody shout hallelujah? hallelujah. In that, I want them to draw my point number one in this. It came a time and then God spoke to Moses. My point number one is God's report to his chosen. God's report to his chosen. And he said to Moses, all right, time has come. Send now spies, let them go and see the land I promised you. Way back, God had promised this land to Abraham. When God promises anything, from the promise to the end, God takes care. Hear this again. When God has given any report to your life of anything that he will do, it means he has taken care in spite of what is between now and the fulfillment. He sent the spies according to the report of God he sent the spies, and the spies went. Moses at none, God has taken care from A to Z. But among the leaders, some of them did not know that. Every day God speaks to us individually through Christ Jesus. He gives us reports of every time. God has a report of every hour. God has a report of every family. God has a report for every marriage. God has a report for every village, every city. God has a report for every nation. These reports are not the same. People mess up things when they want their report to match the other report. Churches miss it when they want the report of them to match with another report of another church. God is our father. He understands us with our seasons. He understands us with where we are. He understands your family where you are. Somebody shout hallelujah. And therefore God will speak to you. He will bring a report to your life. He will bring a, a report for your children. He will bring a report for your spouse. He will bring a report for your church, the church where you minister, the church where you go. Don't begin complaining. The other church, the neighboring church, they are doing this. Uh -uh. God does not work like that. He has report for every individual. He has report for every city. He has a report Report for every nation. If you listen this morning, God shall give a report for your life and a report for your family, a report for the church, a report for that city, and a report for that nation in the name of Jesus Christ because he is God. So Moses called leaders and they sent them and they told them, Go and spy. The land God has promised to give us. And they left. They obeyed. The step number one of enjoying God's reports is obedience. Step number one to enjoy God's reports is obedience. Do not begin asking him, how will I do this? And what will happen? And if this happen, ah, 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 before he spoke, he took care of your fears. He took care of everything. He has taken care. You just choose to believe it, to obey, and to do it. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. That is in verse 1 through 3. Let me move very fast. Uh, in verse 27, 26, 27, I want to see the good report which was brought in by these men. Some of them, not all of them. In verse number 26, they, they left and they came back and they brought a report. And I'm saying, choose to believe the report of God. So number two, I'm saying, 
Go, good report. Good report is to be chosen. Good report is to be chosen. In the midst of good report, there are good uh, evil reports. In the midst of good reports, there are bad reports. So the spies came back. In fact, the amazing thing in this text is they found exactly as God had promised about the land. What God had spoken about the land was true. And they brought fruits to affirm the word of God is true. And this morning I want to say to every viewer, every word God has spoken to your life, as a, a, a report given to you, it is true. Do not waste your, your mind going left or right. Remain in the world. It is true. They found it was true. In fact, they found uh, there were milk, there was honey, and the land was fertile with the fruit. I was reading and I found a bunch of grapes could not be carried by one person. It is written, two men carried. They put a, they put, they, they put a, a, a log and, 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 and a streak, a farm one, and they put a bunch of grapes and they carried two of them because it was heavy. These men were men of commitment. Who can surely carry today like that? Something to take to people. Eh? These days, even the, those who are, uh, who are being given money for communities, money for nations, they are pocketing instead of carrying to deliver. These guys did not pocket the grapes. Ah, are you hearing me somewhat somewhere? They did not pocket the grapes. Neither did they pocket the honey. They brought it to Moses. Today we are people who are pocketing money for, 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 for development in, in, in our nation. They pocket money of the poor. They pocket money of roads. They pocket money of all kinds of de development that we need in the nation. Those spies leaned us. Bible calls them lindos of every house. They did not pocket. I, 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 I applaud them for that. They brought, they brought all what they saw according to the word of God. They brought it to Moses, to Aaron, and to the children of Israel to know that God is true. Hallelujah. Amen. And therefore, in this good report as they, 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 they brought, they spoke it so clearly. They brought it in a good way. They taught Moses, it's true. And they said even the cities that they are fortified. But God has taken care even of that. Eh? Look, they are saying the cities are that what? Are fortified. And as you go on, you find the city was fortified because of his while. What the enemy tries to keep away from you. When you obey the Lord. Hallelujah. When you believe in him. Hallelujah. When you believe in his report. Nothing shall keep you from your inheritance. In Jesus mighty name. Yes. They, they brought all this. And uh, as they finished they said. It looks as if. It looks as if. Before they finished. Caleb stood up and they said, what? We are ample. I'm speaking to the month of August in the name of Jesus Christ. Month of August, the report of the Lord says, we are ample. We are going through. We are overcomers. We are going to achieve what God has designed us for. Hear you, month of August, the month of August, hear the report of the Lord that we are able in the name of Jesus Christ. We will triumph in the name of the Lord. We will Get up in the name of the Lord. Even the fortified cities, they are going to come down for us in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody shout hallelujah. Glory to God. 
That's a word to the month of August. None of you shall bow down. None of you shall quit back. None of you shall give up. None of you, you are going to lose your life. We shall take the account and you shall be found in. I shall be found in. Your family shall be found in. None shall be wanting. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody shout hallelujah. Wow, glory to the name of the Lord. The good report accompanied by faith. Every good report requires faith. Every good report requires faith. Joshua and the Caleb, they looked at the good report and they agreed with God. May I submit this request to each one of you who are here and who are viewing. Agree with God. What he says he is able to do it for your life. What he says he is able to manifest. The good work he begins. He is able to bring it to accomplishment as it is written in Philippians 1, 6. He is able to bring it to accomplishment. Shout hallelujah and blessed be the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. So Joshua shuts their mouth and he tells the, 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 the leadership of Moses, look, if God is pleased with us, we will get the land. Let's not rebel. Let's obey him. Let's believe him. We will have according to the promise. In Jesus mighty name. Somebody shout hallelujah. 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 So when, jo when Caleb is saying these words. He and uh, uh, Joshua. They are believing Truly, this is going to happen. We are going to get this promise of God fulfilled in our lives. No matter what is happening, I want you to come to a level of being yourself. Yourself. The storms may range from corner to corner, but there is a word that God has given your life. There is a promise in your life. There is a report in your life. There is a report in your family. There is a report in your marriage. There is a report in that church. Oh, in this church, we have a report of the Lord. And I choose to believe him. I choose to believe the report of the Lord. I choose to believe and to obey and to walk with him in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Immediately as Caleb finishes and encouraging uh, the saints of the Lord, the congregation of Israel, my God, and the, the Bishop Moses is encouraged and the deputy Bishop Aaron is encouraged. Let through just a moment, these men raised also their voices in that one. Verse 31, they raised their voices and they gave, the Bible says in verse 32, they gave the children of Israel a bad report. <sighs> My God, they gave a bad report. Why? Because they were counterfeiting, counter-talking the good report. Every time good reports are talked. By the way, the good reports are for what? Number one, good reports are for giving us understanding of who God is. And what God can do. Number two, they are to give us the truth picture, the true picture, sorry, the true picture of the purpose of God. The report comes to give you a true picture. You might not see it now, but it is what God is talking about. It is what God wants to do. Hallelujah. Number three, good reports 
They are for encouraging us in the journey. In the journey day by day. You need to hear somebody telling you. Even though it happened yesterday. Or it happened today morning. But still you are going to make it. I was there and I meant it. Saul and Saul was there and they meant it. I've come to let you know the good report. Must encourage you. Must encourage your family. Must encourage your church. Must encourage your nation. Every good report brings encouragement. Amen. Number four, good reports, they come to cause us to keep the course of life. Come on. They come to keep, to make us keep the course of life. Amen. Things might not be working, but you can remember a report God gave you. Presently, things might not be working. COVID-19 has become a worry. But there is a report of God that says, I shall be with you till the end of the end. Even during COVID-19, the Lord says, my presence is still with you. I shall keep you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He speaks to keep us and to continue with the course. Continue with the course of life. That's the purpose of God's report. Keep on with the course of life. Keep on with the course of life, my few are. Do not let your way divert from the course of life. Hallelujah. The good report comes to affirm God's purpose in your life. In your family, in your marriage, ah, it comes to affirm God's purpose in our ministry, in our church, in our city, in our nation, to affirm that what God has spoken, he has not changed his mind. Because he is not a man to change his mind. He has not changed his mind. If he said, I'm with you, it remains he is with you. If he says he will go before us and make way where there is no way, the report of the Lord remains the same. People may divert from the report, but the report will never change. Because the giver changes not. Can somebody shout hallelujah? Can somebody put your hands together to the giver of the good report? <laughs> Hallelujah. Then I move to my verse 37, where they are giving evil report. Evil report comes late. <laughs> Say Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Evil reports always come late. If you can remember... After you gave your life to the Lord, is when evil reports began coming. So the truth is, they came late. You have already given your life to Jesus. Aha. Uh -huh. When you got married, evil report began coming. They came late. When you woke up, evil report began coming. They came late. You have already woken up. Bana Sifiwe. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. If you believe it, can somebody shout hallelujah to hell? If you believe it, shout that good hallelujah to the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So they brought evil report, but their evil report was late. Their evil report was late. What did they say? They said, wow, we have been through the land. Uh-huh. They have been through the land. Those who bring evil reports to your life, they know you. They know you. They know your surroundings. They know what you are fighting. And they might have a clip of little light of what you are looking for. So they come to discourage. They come to, to tell you, when I look at you, it seems as you have lost your mind. Huh? You think you can do this? My friend, you are late. You would have come before and began the, 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 the mission. 
you would have begun, you would have come before I began this uh, work. But I have already begun. So you are late. They brought it very late. Ah, they brought it very late. So, my third point says, evil reports or informations. Their purposes is, number one, to cause fear. Mm. Fear is the foundation where the devil stands. And then begins doing havoc to lives of people. When you allow fear in your life, things are gone wrong. The purpose of evil reports, evil information concerning your life or your family or your business or our nation in every area or any church. When you hear any bad report, before you come in, when you hear a bad report of a brother or a sister, before you chip in and begin saying, ah, 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 hold on, hold on. Allow the Holy Spirit to make you know why is this evil are coming? Why these evil reports are coming? Because they always come to cause fear. They always come to cause fear. You hear about a brother, you begin fearing him and he has done you nothing. You see him passing there, you go this side. Because you heard something and you are not sure of what you heard. Huh? For example, when we lost our, our buildings in the other side, the church, when it was uh, demolished, I heard some people could, were saying, let me tell you, that church, Satan came himself. There were no tractors. A wind came. And every building was down. And there were people who believed that report. Which was a lie of the devil. Eh? Others said, ah, Bishop Charlo and the Living Water Church International, they had taken a land from this other church. From Redeemed Gospel Church. And so many people fought a battle. They threw stones to us. We were caught all names. We were caught every kind of name. People were taken out of the church because we were taught we, we had taken land from another church. We had stolen. They had even uh, built us with 1.4 million shillings. Lies. They went to court and they wrote all lies. They said that, is, that, that land is ours. We paid everything. A total lie of Satan. A total report of Satan. It is me who was paying everything. And for that reason, I have every document. Every document, original, not a photocopy. I even still have it today. So, the good report was very bad. And always, the evil report, always evil reports go like wildfire in dry season. It went all over the world. People called from everywhere. But evil reports, they don't stand the test of time. Do not divide that evil report. Give it time and God. Because there is no evil report which will stand the test of time. Where are they today? They destroyed the work of God. They destroyed buildings. They destroyed equipment. They carried the rest. But I pose a question. Where are they today? They lied to the world. But the world must come to the truth now. That they forged documents. They lied against me. They lied against the church. But the community stood. And they took them to court. And the court took them out of the land. In Jesus name. It's not our joy. 
But our joy is, David says, I shall see. Hallelujah. The downfall of my enemies. And Paul writes, it is a righteous thing when God repays the wicked. So with their wickedness, God has paid them. Period. Because you can bribe people, but not God. And this should go as a signal. Whenever they have done that, or whoever has taken something from somebody by force, and because you are connected, your judgment is fair right at your gate now in the name of Jesus. Because God is a righteous judge. And he is there for the weak. And they will rise up the weak. He will defend the poor. He will stand for the righteousness of his son Jesus Christ. So repent with your evil reports. Repent in Jesus name. I've come to call you to repentance. You must repent if you have been carrying evil reports. Because evil, evil reports are for destruction. Remember when you are giving an evil report which is a lie. You want someone to be destroyed. When the devil finishes with that person. God will rise up. And tell you did you lie? Was your report right? And this I'm speaking to everyone who supported that cause. God's judgment will run with you and with your children. That's the truth of God. But you can repent. You can turn. And repentance is not easy. As you take. Because people are so proud to say sorry. But let me move on. So the evil, evil reports come to every family. Evil reports come to every life. Every, every, every individual. Every uh, um, church. Every nation. You can find yourself. You have been given a heavy court of evil report. The reports given to you are not right. But they are heavy. And one thing is... People tend to believe lies more than truth. If you look into your life, people who have believed lies about you are more than those who believe of your right thing. Why? Because the devil is behind and the purpose of Satan is to destroy the cause of God's God. But I've come to say lies cannot stand the test of time. It can't. It cannot. In Jesus' mighty name. Lies or evil reports, they come to bring fear. That's number one. Number two, they come to cause people to disbelieve God. When these people brought lies and they spoke and they said we cannot make it. And they said the people there are giants. They said, actually, when we stand before them, we look like what? Grasshoppers. Why were they not listening? On the way, they were fighting people. They were fighting nations. Were they fighting with their strength? No. It is God who was fighting for them. It is God fighting for them. And today, I want you to pick it from there. I want to allow you and request you. Allow God to fight your battles. Yeah. Hallelujah. Because when you engage to the battles, you will lose. And a bride is not for battle. Bride is there to make herself beauty for the bridegroom. We are the bride of Christ. We need to watch over our relationship with Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He has done the battle. As God has said, go, I've given you. God had done the battle already. They began saying, we look as grass of us. Allow nothing to look you down. Allow nobody to look you down. No matter how stronger he might appear. No matter how connected he might appear. You connect yourself with God. Let them connect with any other sources of power. I uh, yes, David saying, what to them? Those who 
put their trust in princes and in horses and chariots. They are not spirit, but flesh. And the flesh gets rotten. Flesh gets rotten. But God remains forever. Fear comes to bring defeat. Number three. Number one, sorry. Evil report comes to bring, number one, fear. Two, disbelief. Three, it comes to bring defeat. When an evil report comes in, and the fear develops in somebody, you quit from believing in God. And you begin analyzing your situation as a man. You begin saying, God helps those who help themselves. So you look ways to help yourself. Huh? God helps those who help themselves. You begin looking. Hmm? You begin looking ways to help yourself. That was a principle that Sarah believed in. Huh? God promised Abraham, I'll give you a son. Days and the years went. Sarah said, mm -mm. God helps who helps himself. <laughs> yeah? So Sarah went with that principle. And then God the man to Abraham. She was the first one to eat the fruit of evil. Uh, she was looked down. Barren. I'm here. What do you say? Uh, Hagar looked her down. When Hagar gave birth, and the Sarah gave birth. The son of Agar was the firstborn. He began mistreating Isaac. Sarah looked and said, mm -mm, I messed up my life. God does not help those who help themselves. <laughs> Never try that principle. It will give you a short, a short result. But a result you will cry in your life. Results of helping yourself, you cry through your life. Even today we are crying because of Sarah. Even today. May the Lord help us. Let me stop somewhere. I will continue the next service. <laughs> From defeat, evil reports bring death. Viewers, I want to submit to you. There are two kinds of reports. Report number one from God. Report number two from Satan. I've said, I've preached about each report. But I submit this question to you. Whose report shall you believe? Will you believe the report of the Lord? Or will you believe the report of the enemies? The report of the Lord says, Jesus Christ Gave his life for ours. He took our sins. He took our sorrows. He took our iniquities. By his stripes we were healed. Amen. That's a report of God. Amen. The report of the devil today globally. It is COVID is a killer. When we get to the Bible who is a killer? In John 10, 10, the thief comes but to kill, hallelujah, to steal, to kill, and to destroy. COVID-19 is a thief because he is fulfilling the purpose of the devil, Satan, the father of all lies. Hear me? The announcement given globally, you may wonder, is COVID-19 the first plague? Is it the first pandemic? The reason of all the announcements daily is to cause fear. Is to cause fear. But I've come to strengthen you, my viewer, and you listeners here. You do not need to allow fear to come in your life. 
No matter what, remember the report of the Lord. No matter what and how stronger these reports may come like, remember they are all carrying one agenda to cause you panic, to allow your life to, to lose strength. And when you panic, when you, you are afraid, your immunity does not work. When you are afraid, your immunity does not work. So refuse what they are saying. Refuse the announcements. We are not saying COVID is not there. We are saying it's there. As the spies did. Joshua and the Caleb did not refuse the fact that the giants were in the nation. They were in the land. They did not refuse that the cities were fortified. Surely they did not refuse that they were like grasshoppers. They said, those are facts, but there is truth. The fact is, COVID is there, but there is truth. That Jesus Christ took our diseases and sicknesses. And by his stripes, we were healed. Somebody shout hallelujah. Be on your feet. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I thank you. I bless you for your goodness. I bless you for the good report that you have for us today. We thank you that Jesus Christ took our diseases. He took our iniquities. He took our sins. And by his righteousness, we can stand in your presence we thank you for the good report that you are walking before us. You are going before us. You are making the way before us. You are removing the enemy before us. Even COVID-19, you are being removed by the hand of the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for having mercy on us and on our nation. And on nations, we continue declaring that COVID-19, coronavirus, you have a name. But there is a name that is above every name. The name of Jesus Christ. In this name, we command your power to be destroyed. We command your talk to be destroyed. We command your power of death to be destroyed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray blessings over your people. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Wherever you are viewing us from, I want to pray for you before we receive the Holy Communion. I want to pray for those who would like to receive Jesus Christ. Here is a good report. He died for us. The good report. He can forgive any sin. The good report. Even if you had backslidden, you can rise up again and keep on in the journey. Are you there and you'd like to receive Jesus Christ? Watching right now or you'll watch this later. Pray this short prayer. Lord Jesus, I'm a sinner. I, I give my life to you. I open my heart to you. I confess my sins. And I ask you to come in my life. Be my savior. And my Lord, give me power to become a child of God. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Write my name in the book of life. Erase my name from the books of death. Thank you for loving me, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Father, I pray for those lives that you will not let them go away. Bless them. And disconnect them with their past life. In Jesus name. Find a good church. And connect yourself. A good church is where Jesus Christ is preached. As Lord and Savior. And where the pure doctrine is. Preached and taught. Sin is bad. Living right life is life. In Christ Jesus. God bless you. And God bless you. 
all in Jesus' name. Amen and amen and amen.